Welcome to one of our training course, which is very important. How you can be able to analyze your data, which is chapter 4 of your research project, thesis and dissertation. This is one of the most important training programs for the students all over the world. Because for you to be able to qualify for your degree, postgraduate, especially you must be able to undertake this particular course. But you find that the majority of the students are not able to uh, do their data analysis. And therefore, they submit it to other people so that they can do what uh, they can do for them. On the other hand, there has been a big gap in the field where you realize that um, uh, students are not prepared well on how they can be able to analyze their data. And therefore, we have designed for you a full package on how you can undergo step by step until you analyze your own data in a very effective and efficient way. Therefore, in this particular course, what will you cover? So number one, we shall introduce you to the two schools of thought in doing your research uh, result, which is chapter four. Number two, we shall take you briefly onto the structure of your chapter four work, which is uh, 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 data analysis, data presentation, data uh, interpretation and discussion of the findings. Then, after the structure, we shall take you into the major pitfalls, what you need to avoid when you are doing your <laughs> chapter 4. And after that, we shall also take you through briefly how to perform data cleanup, because currently we are using technology to collect data. Now, when data is collected using technology, we normally have associated a lot of errors. And remember, when you analyze data with errors, definitely your data will not be able to converge to some level of significance. And you know how is it very bad in that case. Therefore, we must enhance our data quality. And before we take our instrument to the field to collect data, we shall take you through what we call pilot test in order to enhance the level of accuracy of our instrument. And therefore, we shall test that particular instrument against a reliability where we shall use what we call callback alpha and we shall expect that those particular variables will have an alpha coefficient greater than 0 0.7 for them to qualify to the next level. Equally, we shall test on validity. And remember, the validity we shall use what we call a principal component analysis, which will assist us to be able to check what you call whether this particular contract are measuring the same thing. So the ones that are odd, we shall actually eliminate them from the questionnaire. And the ones that are measuring the same things, at least we shall retain them so that we can now uh, modify our uh, questionnaire before we finally go and give it to the target, target group. So after that is done, we shall collect the data and take the data through a process of doing what you call data cleanup. So in the data cleanup is one of the most important steps, but hardly being taught in most of what you call forums or seminars or statistics. So this is a very important step and I shall take you through step by step how we perform what you call data cleanup, identifying those uh, values that are extremes so that we can be able to rectify them. Equally, we shall identify those values that are missing values, we shall be able to see methodologies of replacing them so that we don't affect what you call our surfaces. We're equally going to test the duplicate entries, uh, methods of using statistical tools to identify duplicate entries and rectify them at the same time. So once what we call as data cleanup process is over, we shall now take you through the next step, which is data exploration. This is a very important step because to an extent, they transform data you must be able to transform data so that you can be able to run various statistics that you already have. So in that case, after the transformation process is over, we shall move direct to data exploration. Where it's test about linearity test, homocedasticity test, multicollinearity test, uh, we shall do autocorrelation test. All these tests will be able to assist us make decision on which kind of test statistics are we going to perform. After that, we shall make a decision whether we are running parametric test statistics or we shall run non-parametric test statistics. 
Now, after that, we shall now go into the details of examining our relations between our variables. And therefore, I will take you through how to identify the effect of the control variable. Number one, the effect of moderating variable between the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. We shall move direct into testing ordinal logistic regression, assessing the interaction effect between independent variable and dependent variable in an ordinal logistic regression. That one also, we shall be able to test that. Then after that, we shall now take you through the entire process of compiling your report in your chapter 4. And we shall begin by doing what you call data presentation. There are two methods of presenting data at, 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 at the postgraduate level. You are expected perhaps to uh, diversify the variety of tools that you are going to use to collect your data. And in that case, therefore, we shall use what you call textual method of data presentation. At the same time, we shall use what you call a tabular method of data presentation. And we start with the tabular is when we enhance with using what you call the textual method because that is now a qualitative study being combined with the quantitative study. So after data presentation is done, we shall move to the second step of doing what you call data interpretation. And when we talk about data interpretation, we are simply linking every result that we have found in the, our output, in our uh, uh, tools that we are going to use to analyze data with the research problem, which simply means the analysis is supposed to answer, is supposed to support the research problem. Therefore, we shall do that during conducting every variable when performing data interpretation. And once the interpretation is done, we shall take it now to the next level where we are doing discussions of key findings. Now, in the discussion of key findings, the result we got must be matched in terms of your chapter 2, which is literature review. We need to link the result with the, lit the content of literature review. Now, in that perspective, therefore, we shall be able now to uh, discuss the findings broadly in reference to con uh, convergence, co coherence, and divergence. So, with regard to other authors, what they found out, we are linking with our findings here. And that's what's going to compose in our discussion of the key findings. After that, we just present the summary of the report, and that shall be the content of this particular course. So, this course is simply meant to assist the students doing their postgraduate, uh, uh, doing undergraduate the statistics, and even the researchers, and even the lecturers, uh, be able to understand the various core components of our chapter 4 and how the analysis is supposed to be performed and various interpretations are supposed to be done, how presentations are supposed to be done, how interpretations are done, and how key discussions of the key findings are supposed to be done in our chapter 4. Remember, this is the step where the researcher actually present their findings, what their contribution to this body of knowledge comes in this section. And therefore, this is a very, very important uh, uh, course that you are going to benefit greatly. So enroll in this particular program and let's begin off.